Hello everyone, this is Yu Chi Chen from China University of Geosciences. Today I'm going to talk about the exotic materials at the Changfai landing site. Um, so what is the Changfai mission? Changfai mission is China's first lunar sample return mission. It is the two mechanisms to sample lunar regolith. The first mechanism is using a drill to drill down the lunar surface, subsurface. And the second mechanism is to use this robotic arm to sample the surface samples. And in total, over 1,700 grams of lunar samples were taken back by Chang'e. Where the Chang Five landing site? The Chang Five landing site is in northern Oceanus Persilarum and to the west of Mount Jura and uh, uh, northeast of Mount Remoka. This is one of the youngest lunar mare units on the moon. Based on our critic uh, county work, this unit has a um, age of 1.7 giga year, and uh, we can also see from this history at all's lunar mare basalt age map. This is a very young unit among the youngest. On the moon, and the good news is that when we uh, took samples back, and uh, several groups did astrophotic dating of this unit, and they get an age of around 2.0 giga year. So the Chang'e samples will be uh, is the youngest lunar mare resource since upload times. So let's uh, take a look at the Chang'e five samples. We can see that the Chang'e five samples are very diverse. It includes some agglutinate. Uh, breaches, salts, um, glasses, no matter, impact glasses, or volcanic glasses. And we, if we take a look at this back saturating images, we can see that the back saturating images, uh, the lunar regolith contain different grains, including different minerals, different rock types. So why Chang'e samples will be very, so diverse? Uh, the materials in Chang'e samples will be so diverse that is related to the formation mechanism of lunar regolith. We know this for a very long time that the formation of lunar regolith is a very complex process, including solar solar wind implantation, micro meteorite impacts, vaporization, condensation, etc. Because of this complex process, uh, the regolith not only here but also elsewhere will be very complex and. Uh, uh, I think that the Chang'e sample, five samples may contain these several major component, components. The first one is local material. The local material contain um, maybe come from young air basalt, basalt with the age of 2.0 giga year, and also maybe come from some local impact ejecta. That is because local impact ejecta still smashed on the local a mere result and deliver the local materials to the Chang'e 5 site. So local impact craters will still deliver majorly uh, local materials to the Chang'e 5 site. And uh, another major component is those uh, exotic materials. And I think that exotic materials may be mainly come from distant impact craters. So uh, those um, middle rights created these craters, uh, their components may be also con still uh, in the Chang'e 5 sample. And except for this two, there may be some non mineral materials come from the uh, nearby highland, highland regions or silica ridge domes and volcanic beads uh, uh, transferred by e explosive uh, volcanism. And uh, the first uh, uh, components I want to talk about is those volcanic beads. In the Chang'e 5 samples, we found that there are some volcanic beads, and the volcanic beads uh, uh, maybe come from the explosive mechanism, as you can see from these images. So where most likely these volcanic beads come from? Uh, based on our work in geophysical research letters, we think that the Chang'e 5 mare unit, we, we call it uh, P45, 
48 or EM4. This unit are erupted from the Rima Sharp and Rima Moraine. And I think that the, their source vent, the source vents of Rima Sharp and Rima Moraine, uh, the volcanic activity here will become explosive. And uh, some of volcanic beads maybe um, come from the source vents of Rima Sharp and Rima Moraine. And uh, the second uh, important component, exotic components, is those non-mere materials. I didn't do uh, specific works on non-mere materials, but there are several authors did this. Uh, for Edo and his group, I uh, think that uh, he, he unmixed 12 uh, iron, thorium, and members here, and he think that Aristotle's creator can do highly involved non-mere material to this region. And uh, this uh, m materials from Aristotle's creator Greater maybe uh, help us to understand the magmatic definition of the non mere mechanism. And he also thinks that thorium is endogenous to mere resource. And Liu et al. in his GRL paper used specially reserved numeric model, and she thinks that non mere material here maybe. Uh, maybe there are around 40% non mere material in the Chang Fai samples. And uh, this non-mere material maybe come from mainly come from South Pole Icon Basin, Imbrian Basin, and Saratadis Basin. And um, all the other think that uh, the Ipati Jetta will be a critical um, exotic materials here, and so do I. And uh, here we can see the composition map of the Chang Five landing unit, EM4 unit, and we can see that there are different. There are clearly linear rays here. Uh, the north, northeast, southwest uh, ray in the uh, northeast of EM4 unit, and here, uh, here is another unit. Uh, uh, another linear rays maybe come from uh, north, maybe come from southeast to a northwest direction, and uh, when if if we can see this ejecta directly, why we so I think that we can directly trace them and map their distributions, it's, and we can also that trace back to their source craters based on the long axes. And here is my work based on their long axes of different rays and a data. I trace them to their source craters and, and map them. And there are four, there are several craters I think that are uh, important uh, data contributor to the EM4 unit, including Aristotle's, Copernicus. Uh, Harding Crater, Hablas Crater, Capital Crater, Lynchburg Crater, Remilke E, and maybe Sharp B, but but I will talk about this later. And when we, if we can direct trace them, we can either any way for for us to calculate their abundance. Yes, there are some uh, numerical ways, uh, and I use the empirical power law model uh, from. Empir empirical power law model and a regular scattering model from Costello. And I, I put them together and calculate the eject thickness for the chamfer site and the regular thickness uh, at the chamfer site um, based on the regular scattering model. The top of 74 centimeters of regular here is totally mixed up. If we mix the regular eject into this uh, thick of regular, and we can calculate red hip abundance. Of uh, different contributors of the Chang Five site, and here is my results. I think that the local material is dominant, still dominant here. Many come from um, uh, come from me local mere resource, and exotic materials are minor. Uh, could you be ten of regolith here, and many come from Hapalas crater, Copernicus crater, and Aristotle's crater. This uh, results is similar to Shear et al.'s results based on basaltic sedimentation model, and. Uh, Although the numbers are very similar, but we do have one difference. That is, we think, uh, as you can see from my data distribution map, the Chang Five site is overlaid by this very dominant, permanent northeast southwest direction oriented uh, ejecta. She at all think that they are from Sha B crater. I think that they are from Hapalas crater, but they should. Come from Shabi Crater or Hapalas Crater because they have the 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 long axis of this ejecta can be traced back to the northeast direction. Um, my consideration is that Hapalas Crater its morphology looks much younger than Sha B, but if you directly date these two craters, you will get the opposite uh, results. You, you will uh, you will find Shabi Crater its 
queer population on its rim looks younger than Harpalas, but I think that it's not created directly created dating on Harpalas and shall be will be not very reliable. Uh, it will suffer from secondary critters, self secondary critters, etc. Therefore, I, I think uh, the age of Harpalas and Shabi should be relied on its morphology and the north east southwest direction in data are mainly come from Harpalas rather than Shabi. And here is my conclusion. Um, Term 5 samples will contain local materials and exotic materials. Local ma materials are dominant, exotic materials are minor, and mainly come from distant epigeta, meteoritic component, nomic material, and volcanic beads.